Welcome back. This is Rito here with another Terraria Calamity Let's Play episode. We are playing as Danny the Demon using only melee weapons. We're on death mode and last episode we defeated a whole bunch of bosses. We defeated Skeletron Prime and we also defeated the Aquatic Scourge and the Brimstone Elemental. I think we may have also done the Queen Slime. Can't remember. But we defeated a whole bunch last episode and this episode we're starting off with a Goblin Invasion. I wanted to kill a few of these goblin wizards or whatever. Well, we defeated the army. We didn't get the item, but I just wanted to fight them just because. And then we also got the pirate invasion. So let's get that started. Honestly, the Brim Lance is super nice for this because it pierces and then sets all these like brimstone things all over. Makes it quite simple. We're so OP for this right now. We could probably defeat Calamitous pretty simply right now, but it's probably best to just go fight Plantera. That way we can get a few upgrades. Oh, another thing I just realized is this weapon will be great. Yeah, this does really good damage. And it can shoot through the ground, which is amazing. Yes, here we go destroy this. Awesome. Flying Dutchman. There we go. Just defeated the pirates. Pretty simple. And I just remember we got the steampunk NPC. Oh no. <laughs> oh, I just bought a contaminator. I guess we need one of those, uh, or we might need one. I was trying to click jetpack, but um, <laughs> wasted a bunch of platinum. Oh well, it's not that bad. We can get that easily. Well, we've got a jetpack now though, so we should be able to craft the Moab. Yes, Moab. We need a horseshoe, bundle of balloons, frog legs, jetpack, and the souls. So the Moab is really good. Like, look at that. You've got so much mobility. <laughs> Wyvern came out of nowhere. Yeah, this is great. I think I might be fine removing our starlight wings. We'll hold on to them just because while we have Daedalus on, it does provide some benefit. Now it's time to go fight one more boss, the giant clam. It's pretty much the main thing that we missed in pre-hard mode. And then we can go fight Plantera. Ooh, we found the little special chest in this biome. Let's see what it's got in it. I think I remember this is a thing that like adds extra projectiles or something. Man, there's so many enemies down here. After one second of standing still and not attacking, you gain a buff. It boosts your damage by 50% and decreases damage taken by 15. Ooh. We have the uh, Luxor's Gift. That's what I was thinking we were going to get. Man, two of these right beside each other. That's pretty awesome. This one, like, adds projectiles, I think. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. We're digging so we can get down into the Sunken Sea. We actually haven't gotten down here yet. And now we just got to go find a clam, which, amazing. <laughs> we got one almost instantly. Excellent. Okay. This is probably not going to be a very difficult boss fight, but I'd like to be ready for anything. Whoa, we have dynamite in our sunken sea. That's cool. Okay, let's do this. Okay, I think we can just tank this boss. <laughs> There we go. Excellent. We got some mollusk husks, and we got this NPC. Uh, let's see if he's got any. So, melee weapon right there. Another melee weapon. Oh, and you can buy truffle worms from this guy. Excellent. Whoa. This is so cool. <laughs> Shoots through walls. I love it. Pretty low damage, though. And then we've got this flail. 
We probably could also quickly look for the Sunken Sea Lab. Yeah, here it is. Well, we did two invasions already and a mini boss, so let's head back to base. We've got an inventory stacked full of stuff. Now comes one of my least favorite parts of hard mode, which is finding a Plantera bulb. I was hoping we'd be super lucky and find one right by our little arena here, but so far no luck. Ooh, life fruit. Ooh, there we go. I take it all back. We got lucky. We got the bulb. Okay, let's do this. Just gotta get into the arena. Man, yikes. That was a rough start. Okay, maybe we can just kind of wait around. I don't want to push it into the next phase because then we're going to have an even harder time recovering our health and letting our health potion cool down. see which weapon does the most damage. Okay, that one's pretty good. Okay, we just switched forms. Try a little bit of this one. Maybe not. Oh no, did we just mess the run up by getting too fancy switching weapons? No! Okay. Okay, I think I'm just gonna switch to this one. It's nice, easy homing. We can just focus on dodging. Oh no. Yikes. Ah oh my gosh. <laughs> I totally underestimated Plantera there. Ooh, cool. We just got a gladiator locket. It says it summons two spirit swords to protect us. Let's see what that looks like. Ooh, this is cool. Whoa, I just killed a Mimic and it dropped so many different items. That's pretty sweet. Oh, and this right here is, is the Plantera Detector. I went ahead and crafted one. It's from Louis AFK, I think. I really just need to find a mod that allows us to fight Plantera with a summon, like out of Beehive or something, because it really is a bit of a drag to have to look for Plantera every time. Well, we found a Plantera, so let's try to just dig our way back. Now we just need to get to our arena without any issue. Okay, I think we did it. Just can't despawn. Oh my goodness, did it really just despawn? Just start throwing some of these in, make sure it doesn't despawn. Okay, cool. Now, let's get this fight going. Well, we've got Rage already, so we can switch to Rage once when it shoots out all of its tentacles. Taking a few more hits than I'd like, but we should be fine here. I'm 
go ahead and use Rage. Try to just break as many as I can. This has some pretty good splash damage. There we go. Back to our sword. Ooh, we actually got some adrenaline. Oh my gosh. No, 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 no. Rito, you got this. Do not mess this up. Okay, that works a lot better. Throw in our spear. I have too many platforms in this arena. It's slowing me down on the... Like trying to get low in the arena. Okay, here we go. With some rage. Get some good damage going. I've not had such a hard time with Plantera. I think one thing I need to do is get like another boss health bar. I don't know which one to use though because with 1.4 I can't find the boss health bar that I'm used to because it shows if the boss is enraged. I think instead I will try fighting Glamatus, see how it goes. Because at least Calamitous, when we die, we can immediately fight him. And it's not like a 10 minute wait in between each fight. Because that's just the thing about Plantera that makes it frustrating. I really need to just install a mod. Ah, use my adrenaline during the fireball phase. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is where it gets difficult. Yikes. Oh man. This fight. Giving me flashbacks. It's a very difficult one. In general. It used to not be that bad. Okay, just keep running. Seems like these don't go as fast as they used to. Which is very good. The health is really high. Like I've been just demolishing bosses until we reached Plantera and Calamitous. There we go, perfect. actually doing pretty good damage. Taking out the little eyes around the boss. Okay, back to this. Now that we've got less enemies to hit, we don't need piercing. Oh, we can do a heal. Excellent. Got a fireball phase. <laughs> we actually have explosions too. No! Oh my gosh. Come on, it looks like I've never even fought Calamitous before with the way that went. 
No, we were so close. And there was a heart right there. If I would have just flown around the other way. Okay, we'll definitely get it on the second try, though. I like that the brothers aren't just total lunatics anymore. Because <laughs> before it seemed like you had to be running around doing so many big jumps and using slime saddle and all that. Unfortunately, the time it takes to get to this phase is the time it takes to get adrenaline. So we lose our adrenaline. have some rage too. This is going so much better. Adrenaline. Now we're talking. Okay, back to homing. And we should be good as long as we can survive the fireball phase. Okay, here we go. Fireballs. Gotta get into my Calamity. Supreme Calamitous vibe there. Okay, got the heal. Now we just gotta be very careful with our dashes. There we go. And we died right afterwards. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, we did it anyways though. Dashed right into fire at the end. I will take the win though. And there is our relic. Got Ashes of Calamity, Broken Hero Sword, a little melee weapon. Ooh, shoots lasers. Got a summon. Oh, we have the Chaos Stone. And the Void of Calamity increases all damage. This is an item I recognize from the tooltip, but it's been resprited. That's cool. Okay, well, let's craft some stuff and see what we can get. Sweet, we can get the Brimlash. There it is. It looks like there's actually a few things we can craft with Broken Hero Sword. We can craft the Terra Blade <clears throat> and the Terra Edge. It looks like we can upgrade our True Caustic Edge. And there's the upgrade, the Tyrant Yarum's Ulta Sword. 2000, nice. Is it homing? Oh, it actually is homing. That's really good. That'll work really well with Plantera. And we've got the Brimlash. Whoa, this pierces. This will also do really well against Plantera, I think. Wow, these are both really interesting weapons. So it just set my spawn point, and it's time to go underwater. Let's see what we can find down here. So the main thing I want to get is Luminil and Tenebris. Also a lot of planty mush would be nice. And hopefully we can mine up some Scoria. Oh no, what do we need for this? Maybe we can at least get some Luminil. Okay, there we go. We can get Depth Cells, Tenebris, all that stuff. Stand down here for a little bit, farm up a few things. And then we can craft a couple more weapons, and we should be good. Although, I do want to find maybe another one of those 
little chests because I think we're missing one accessory from here. Now that we've gotten a whole bunch of depth cells and lumino, we can actually craft our next upgrade, the abyssal diving gear. There we go. That's the plating I was looking for. Well, I think that's a great place to end this episode. We defeated Calamitous and the giant clam. Next episode, we'll be able to fight Plantera and we've got a lot better gear now. I think there's even one or two more items I can craft before Plantera and then it's gonna unlock so much cool stuff. So definitely stay tuned for the next episode because there's gonna be so many good upgrades happening. And if you're enjoying this series, be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.